On the News 19 bookshelf this morning, Eisner nominated writer Samuel Satin continues to bridge the gap between cultures with an all new magna reinvigorating. Magna reinvigorating a fan favorite classic character for a new generation. Samuel joins us now to tell us all about it. Good morning, Samuel. Thank you so much for being with us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. All right. Tell us more about the manga and how it's different for graphic novels here in America. So manga is really just the Japanese word for comics. Um, so I'm not so basically it, it's it's the same kind of idea, but with manga, you have um, some differences in the medium. For example, a lot of it is black and white, and it reads from right to left. Um, the stories are run the gamut, but sometimes they're considered to be for a little bit more of a teen or mature reader, um, though that's not always the case. <laughs> oh, yeah. And now, how did you discover manga and anime, and what is it that you love about the form? Um, well, I discovered anime first when I was younger because I grew up in the 80s and 90s when there wasn't a lot of um, manga around. Uh, it was mostly anime. And so from there, uh, I was able to, um, you know, get into more and more into the medium uh, that way. And then as I got into manga in my 20s and 30s, that led me to uh, develop an incredible interest in the entire medium. Oh, yeah. And now tell us about the character Unico and their creator. We understand you were a pretty big fan. Huge fan. Um, yeah, Osamu Tezuka is considered in Japan to be, and worldwide, to be the god of manga because he basically created the entire modern manga and anime industry. And in 1976, he created this character named Unico, um, who, on a trip to Los Angeles, actually, he created it uh, with the idea of appealing to American kids um, in partnership with Sanrio, which is famous for Hello Kitty. Uh, so Unico is a character who is, um, his ability to spread love and kindness draws the ire of a vengeful goddess, the goddess of love and beauty, Venus. Uh, she becomes enraged with his ability to inspire uh, human beings. And so because of that, uh, she wants to have him destroyed. Uh, and instead of having to destroy it, however, one of her servants, the West Wind, takes pity on Unico bringing him through time and space and wiping his memory because if whenever he, um, whenever his, uh, his powers awaken, he draws the eyes of the God, the eye of the goddess again and, um, and, uh, is, uh, hunted by her again. So it's basically a journey through time and space in which the Unigo attempts to, um, attempts to remain, uh, to, to basically break his curse um, is with the help of his friends so they can get his memory back and possibly become the most powerful being in the universe. Oh, wow. And now Unico on the surface, you gave us a little bit glimpse of that. A simple children's story about a cute and sweet unicorn, but yet it's also a complex story about how love can be used as a weapon. Is the universality of these themes a hallmark for a good manga? Mac? I think so, yeah. And especially at the heart of uh, a lot of uh, Osamu Tezuka's manga, which was, you know, his themes were, had to do with love and um, the power of love and, you know, um, and what we want to explore is exactly how love, yes, love can be used as both a, um, a solve and a weapon. Uh, and, but again, at the same time, it's also a children's story and it's a story that's really identified with the kids. It's an adventure story um, in which uh, we just follow this young unicorn uh, as he bravely faces down gods and monsters and travels through time and space. All right, now where can our viewers go to keep up with Unico and you, of course? Sure. Yeah, so my, uh, my social media is Samuel Satin across all you know, uh, uh, Twitter and Instagram and all those different things. And you can also follow Scholastic or Graphics to hear, to, to learn more. And um, we'll have uh, hopefully more news coming out very soon, um, particularly about book two and the series, because it's going to be an ongoing series that will travel on into the future. So we're incredibly uh, honored and excited to bring it to the world. Well, I'm excited. Thank you so much for being with us today and sharing all of that.